Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you this mysterious top that spins forever. Once I start it, it won't stop. Now the problem with something like this is, how is it going to keep spinning? Because if I give it some initial rotational momentum or angular momentum, then angular momentum is always conserved. So that means that it can't get any more angular momentum unless it's taking it from something else. Look at that go. <laughs> so somehow this top is still spinning. So how is it that this top can seemingly overcome any friction on it and just continually spin forever no matter what happens? I can pick it up, move it around. Even if I kind of shake it, it just keeps going. You can see even, it even picking up speed there. So somehow, as soon as I release it, we're adding angular momentum to it. But that's a problem because angular momentum is always conserved. So no matter what's going on inside of this, even if there's a motor inside of there, once I give it some initial angular momentum, it shouldn't be able to add to that. So when I start spinning the top, there's a little battery inside of it and a small motor that starts a rotor spinning inside of it. Well, in order to stay up, it has to increase its rotational momentum. But in order to do that, it has to push off of something. And if it's completely flat and straight, it can't push off of the plate that it's on. But the key is, is that the motor inside of it isn't spinning evenly. It's weighted to one side of it a little bit more. So it makes the top tip a little bit like this as it's going. And as it tips, it pushes off the bottom a little bit and pushes it upright. And because it's spinning, that can increase its angular momentum. So the energy from the battery pushes it up as it's spinning in a circle and that increases its angular momentum so it continually adds to it the whole time. But like I said, angular momentum is always conserved. So that means if we're continually adding to the angular momentum of the top, that means that what it's getting the momentum from has to spin in the opposite direction. So that would mean if I had a frictionless table that I spun it on, eventually the table should start spinning in the opposite direction of the top. So let's see if that actually works. So now if my theory is correct, when I place it on here and get it spinning, as it continues to gain momentum in the clockwise direction, this plate here should spin in the counterclockwise direction. So first let's get it started. I'm gonna place it in here. Nice and steady. Okay, there it goes. So you can see the plate slowly moving in the counterclockwise direction while the top split spins in the clockwise direction. So if you add these two momentums together, then it's gonna equal the initial angular momentum that I gave it to start with. So the top is spinning in this direction and the plate spinning in this direction. So the longer it goes, the faster the bottom plate is going to spin. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And also hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video comes out. And check out theactionlab.com to see the Action Lab subscription boxes. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.